Former pastor Anthony Haynes will spend his life in prison after being found guilty of child sex trafficking. A judge delivered the sentence saying it's a message for those who abuse power. Blair Caldwell in the courtroom where Haynes learned his fate. Blair, what was his reaction? Well, Chrissy, I can tell you, Anthony was very emotional throughout the entire sentencing. At one point, he was pleading for mercy from the judge for the sake of his family. He got so emotional, he teared up and eventually started hitting his hands on the table, thinking of what he could say to his kids in the moment, eventually uttering, Daddy loves you no matter what. But they had to hear that sentence of life in prison from Judge Bernard Friedman. He, Haynes was arrested back in April of 2017 and courtroom testimony from his trial in March showed he had sex with a minor in his custody and introduced her to other local pastors who also engaged in sexual activity. Judge Freeman says this case is disgusting, hard to believe and unlike anything he's seen. He says this sentence should deter other predators and send a message that it will not be tolerated. Federal prosecutors say Haynes committed some of the most serious conduct and deserved the life sentence for preying on someone's innocence and trying trust in his authority. While defense attorneys argued a life sentence was disproportionate, Haynes then spoke up for himself, saying the past 27 months have been extremely difficult for him. He said his heart has been ripped out, but it's his family's love and support that was getting him through. They showed up in the courtroom to support him, even shouting love you as he was being handcuffed before leaving the courtroom. While Haynes was emotionally pleading for leniency from the judge, his words didn't move him the judge and received a life sentence. Michael Freeman, the federal prosecutor, says he saw no remorse from Haynes during the sentencing. In fact, he called it a sermon-like speech where he played the victim. Freeman says he's glad the real victim has the last word. She's she's relieved. Uh, to be honest, this is kind of a end of a chapter, a horrific chapter for her. Uh, now she can move on. She's still in school, at college, uh, getting her social work degree. She's working. And so she was emotional to a degree, uh, but she's happy and relieved that uh, her words were heard. Freeman says she is an inspiration and is looking forward to using her story to help others. Also, as a part of Haynes' sentencing, he will have to pay a $20,000 assessment for the Justice of Human Trafficking Act. Now, Haynes did file a motion for a new attorney, but that was denied before his sentencing. The judge, however, says he will appoint him a new attorney for an appeal purpose. While this is the fourth sentence in this human trafficking case, this isn't over yet. Haynes is daughter and wife are also set to take trial. We, of course, will keep you up to date. But for now, reporting live from downtown, Blair Caldwell, WTOL 11.